Hi, this is Chef Adam Baird with the Habit Burger Grill. This summer, I'm here to take you on a culinary adventure through California. Today, we're gonna to focus on Northern California, famous for its wine and seafood, and we're gonna make an ahi ceviche tempura bowl. Okay, so we're gonna start with the ahi ceviche. I have some uh, sashimi grade ahi tuna from the Habit Burger Grill. You really need a high quality tuna to do this. It's nicely diced, uh, probably a quarter inch and it's very, very fresh and great color to it. Ceviche is, is a marinated seafood, but the seafood's cooked raw in citrus juice. So here's how we're gonna start. We're gonna go into a bowl with um, orange juice, freshly squeezed, lime juice, freshly squeezed. And then this is a little tomato uh, juice. It's called Clamato. It has a little bit of clam juice in it combined with tomato juice. You know, it just gives a little twist to, to a great ceviche. So I'm gonna add that in. So the citrus is in. I'm gonna add in some red onions as, that have been minced and those will sort of lightly pickle. These are uh, diced pickled jalapenos. You can also use fresh jalapenos. I have uh, chopped garlic, one clove. I'd recommend letting it sit for a little while, probably about 15 minutes. Okay, so a little chamaya chili, which is a chili from um, New Mexico. Sweet and a little bit spicy. A little um, cumin. I'm gonna give it a quick mix, just briefly. I'm gonna add in um, diced tomatoes, and then I'm actually gonna add in the ahi. So the ahi goes in, you see the color on the ahi, it goes in. So I'm gonna mix this really quickly with um, a spatula. So the citrus juices will cook the, uh, the ahi over a period of time, and it needs to be an hour at least ahead of time, but you really don't wanna go beyond two, three hours. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh chops uh, cilantro, uh, a little pinch of um, sea salt, some ground pepper. And then I'll mix this up just until I can see an even distribution of the um, cilantro. That kind of tells you if it's mixed nicely. So I'm, I'm gonna take this and reserve it in the refrigerator so that it, it cooks through and uh, gets a great flavor base to it. Um, and it'll just be really light and fresh um, with the uh, tempura avocado. Now we're gonna do the avocado tempura bowl, okay? And we're gonna start with the batter, which is made from scratch. Uh, here I have um, a cup of cornstarch. Uh, this is all-purpose flour. This is a uh, baking uh, soda. I'm gonna add that in. You wanna mix your uh, dry ingredients first um, to get uh, ensure that you get the right batter. Okay, so tempura is made with, typically with chilled sparkling water or soda water, because that also helps uh, with reacting with the baking soda to make this incredible feathery, crispy uh, batter. So in this case, we have some soda water and we have an egg. We're gonna take the egg, put it in. You wanna combine the egg a little bit before you um, add the, the soda water in. And so you're gonna do this in two parts. You're actually gonna add a little bit of soda water to start it out. Um, Cause the ratio, you have to kind of do it by eye. Um, and I'll show you the consistency of the batter. So this is the mixture. And I added in into the well here. So a little well, and then just add it in. And you don't wanna over mix uh, tempura. It needs to have a little bit of lump to it. So now I'm gonna feed this um, because it's, it's obviously not enough liquid, right? But I gotta start. So if you add too much liquid right away, you're gonna have problems with um, it being too thick. So I'm adding this in. I'm not gonna over mix this, um, but uh, I am gonna start to work it in. So now we're really getting a batter here. Uh, that's too thick. I'm gonna add another about quarter cup of water in. So you're getting, you're getting there, you're getting close. I am just gonna put a drop more in and you, you just have to play this by a little bit by eye. So if you see, it's pretty, it's pretty thin. It's definitely thinner than a pancake batter and it's lump, slightly lumpy. So there you go. So that, that's pretty much a tempura batter. Okay, so we have uh, one avocado, and uh, we, use, like, we use a ton of avocado at, at the restaurants. And in this application, um, what you do want to do, though, is, is take the avocado, turn it over on its half, and you want to um, just cut a little bit off because you want it to stand up like, like a bowl. You want it to actually, you'll see, you want it to sort of oh, stand up like that. And just save the trimmings um, because uh, we're gonna utilize those trimmings to make actually a pasta, avocado pasta chip. Now I'm gonna take a biscuit cutter, standard biscuit cutter, and just sort of cut the edges off to make it more uniform. So I'll do that again with this one. 
and it's just a biscuit cutter, but it gives it like kind of a nice bowl effect. I'm gonna reserve that because I'm going to use it for the pasta chips. Okay, so now we're gonna batter our avocado bowls. I'm gonna go ahead and put the avocados into the tempura batter. Make sure that they're nicely covered. And when you put the um, avocados in, you wanna use a slotted spoon so that you can actually turn the avocado over so that it drains the batter out. You don't wanna have that clump of batter because that's actually where we're gonna put the ahi ceviche. I'm going to put this in the middle and flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing for the, um, the other one. Make sure you get some of that batter out. I'm gonna flip it over. So I'm gonna go about um, two, maybe three minutes. And then you want the avocado, it's not gonna be mushy, so the avocado is gonna have that sort of creamy texture inside of it, so we're almost ready here. Um, I'm gonna take some of these little crunchies out. Pretty cool. <laughs> put, them, put them there. Make sure you turn the avocado over a little bit um, because you want the, the little cup to drain the oil out. You need the oil. And you want a, like a real rustic look to it, you know, but it sits flat now because I've just shaved that bottom part off. An added element to the uh, avocado ceviche bowl is going to be, I uh, utilized the trimmings for the avocado um, and I added a half avocado, as you'll see in the recipe, to make essentially an avocado pasta. Um, but we're gonna make those into chips. Uh, and they can be bakeable or you can fry them. In this case, we're gonna fry them because I have the fryer on <laughs> and we just showed you the avocado tempura bowl. So this is a mini processor. So anyhow, so I'm gonna put in the avocados, just chunked avocados uh, pieces. I'm gonna put an egg in. This is an egg yolk. I actually am going to put a whole egg in and that'll serve as the liquid medium for the pasta chip. This is a chimaya chili to give it a little twist. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in. That'll help strengthen uh, the texture of the, of the chip. And then I'm actually just gonna add, and I'm doing this all in one. I mean, there's many ways you can do this. But with the avocado, you need to kind of make sure it's smooth. And it's more than likely a half cup, but you'll have to kind of play with that a little bit once we see what we have. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and mix this thing up. So it's formed into a paste. I, now I know I need more flour because I've got a, like a paste here, but it's coming together. It should come together as like a, a nice ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another half, uh, quarter cup of flour. All right, so here we go. So now it's starting to come together a little bit. Okay, so now we're really achieving a dough. You, you kind of want a dough ball around it uh, so that it, it, it forms. So I'm, I'm good with this, but I'm gonna uh, spread a little flour onto the surface. The reason I'm doing this is because you want to make sure that the, uh, the dough does not just stick to the work surface. But I'm, you got to really work with this one because the avocado makes it a little stickier. It's just going to make it into a dough. Um, I'll put it into a, a, a circle in this case because I'm going to roll it out. There you go. You can wrap that in plastic wrap um, and uh, let it sit in the refrigerator for up to an hour or so just to let it relax a little bit. Okay, so I have the, the avocado pasta chip uh, dough made. Um, and I'm just gonna spread some uh, flour out on the surface so we can work with it. I have a, a nice uh, wooden dowel here that I floured and I'm just gonna kinda start rolling this out. And it, when, you know, when you roll, you just wanna keep your hands pretty much level. I kinda wanted the texture, basically I wanted the, 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 the level of a tortilla chip. Okay, so this is, you know, this is, the th this is what you want. Now I'm gonna cut it. We'll probably cut it into strips here. Um, try to be fairly even with the strips. And then you can just kind of cut it this way, and then that way, and then you can cut it this way, and then that way, and that's a, that's a kind of a tortilla look. Um, one thing that we're gonna do before we fry them is we're gonna um, just lightly dock them. These might puff up a little bit, so you can always just use a little fork, kind of make a cool little set of marks. That'll help it a little bit, um, not souffle or like puff up. Okay, so we're gonna take the uh, avocado pasta chips we made and we're gonna fry these uh, in uh, 350 degree um, oil. I'm just gonna drop them right in. They're fr gonna fry right up. I'm gonna give it a little shake so that they don't stick to the bottom, but they're gonna start to come up pretty quickly. And I'm just working them around a little bit um, so they get some, some nice evenness to them and great texture. So they're getting there. They're floating on top now and they're 
gonna be pretty crisp. So I'm gonna probably drain these out here. So I'm draining these out. I'm gonna put them onto the, um, the uh, liner, tray liner. A little bit of seasoning. So here we have the um, chili avocado pasta chip. Next, we're gonna make a uh, lime avocado vinaigrette featuring obviously the fresh avocados. Um, one of the unique ingredients in this dressing is the uh, pepita seed, which is a pumpkin seed. It's lightly toasted, gives it a kind of a nice uh, earthy element. Everything is just gonna get combined into a, a blender. Make sure you have enough space in your blender. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, avocados um, so that they kind of get to the bottom of this. I'll add in the chili, lime juice, and then this is the uh, pepita seeds, which again, I said they're pumpkin seeds. We have the uh, cilantro, which is just roughly chopped because the blender will help chop that nice and fine. And we have the freshly made ranch. The way I like to do uh, dressings and blenders is to pulse it a little bit to get it started. Um, that way um, you get a really smooth mix. Okay, so the dressing is really smooth and creamy. Um, I'm going to take it out and just put it into a bowl. So it's really kind of almost a sauce uh, also. So this is the uh, lime avocado vinaigrette with pepita seeds and has a dash of chili and citrus. Now we're going to assemble the dish. So we're going to take the, uh, the dressing we made, the lime avocado vinaigrette. We're going to put it down into the center of uh, a nice little plate. We're going to spread this out a little bit. We are gonna take our freshly fried uh, avocado tempura and put it into this little corner here. And then we have uh, the avocado ceviche, which you've seen has changed colors a little bit because it's uh, been kind of cooked from the citrus. I'm gonna put a nice little uh, dollop in the middle first. Yeah, we'll just pile enough in there so it's manageable, but uh, you're gonna wanna fit it in as, as you would like a, almost like a poke bowl. Um, and then we're going to take the, uh, the chips and sort of stab them into the, um, uh, the side of the avocado. So it's almost like a, a nacho bowl. We'll take a little bit of chili oil and just kind of go around the bowl. So one of the great pairings we, we found was uh, a Northern California wine. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc goes with this because there's a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of citrus. Fresh seafood from Northern California, a lovely Sauvignon Blanc. Bon appetit and cheers. Cheers.